The Easter Bunny is back. Subliminal Fjorder artwork. And any hope for an E3 trailer is out. You're right, kids, it's Ross Clark, and welcome to your regular ARC community news. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share around, and let's get into it. So, Community Crush 309 dropped surprisingly last night. Where? Why? How? Of course, it's April Fool's Day today. That's why you haven't seen any news at its normal time slot, because the devs don't want to post anything today and fool you, but in turn I am, and maybe I'm fooling you, but of course I'm not. It's here in black and white, posted last night, so we know it's all factual stuff. And yes, Excellent Adventure 7 is here. It's coming, well, in a bit. It's on Monday, April the 11th, through to Monday, April the 25th. One of the great many themed events that ARX holds throughout the year, and this is the very last Easter event on ARC 1 that you are going to play, so take full advantage. And what does it all mean? What have you got to do? Well, I've got a guide. I did one last year, and I'm pretty sure it's going to follow the same route. And I'll leave a link to that in the description. But to sum up, you simply collect these eggs, Easter eggs that are dropped by Easter dodos and Easter oviraptors. Simply collect them, take them to a cooking pot and there you go, Bob's your uncle. You can make and craft all the new stuff in the Easter event. And what are all of the gifts that are going to be given to us in this Easter treat? Well, as per last year, you've got a bit of bunny towel in your life, a bit of procoptodon, bunny costume, bunny ear skin, dino bunny ear skin, Easter chick hat, dino Easter chick hat, Easter egg hat skin, dino Easter egg hat skin, marshmallow hat skin, dino marshmallow hat skin, E4 remote explosive skin, Easter egg hat skin, chocolate rabbit club skin, sweet spear carrot skin, and of course, the full body Easter bunny costume, which is going to be the ultimate reward. It does look pretty insane, and it's great to see the Ark Wild Carder, of course, capitalizing on the t-rex thing that they brought it last year and just going bigger and better with giant <laughs> bunnies with grenade like eggs strapped to you everybody is going to want to wear these without a shadow of a doubt throughout the event and probably throughout the rest of the year which we'll get to in just a moment but there are a few more things to know about about this event of course festive dino candy again dropped by the dodos and the oviraptors which again can be fed to your creatures which can temporarily buff them in both colors and speed your emotes are back a bit of towel wiggling and bunny hopping and brand new chibis this time around as a lafasaur a pelovia a queen bee a micro raptor and probably the one you're going to want a spring shine horn there you go, there's your shine on. It's gonna be a shine on with bunny ears. Of course, expected that was exactly what it was going to look like. And I love the artwork. Once again, I'm expecting this to have been made by Mr. Fuego himself, the OG, the big man, the top dog of art in arc is certainly Mr. Fuego, so huge credit to you, mate. Once again, all the colors that you've dreamed of, magenta, light green, light yellow, light orange, light red, dino, light brown, dino, dark brown, yellow, cyan, green, dino, medium, blue, turquoise, light pink, deep pink, peach, mint, teal, powder blue, and cream. Lots of colors out there for you to enjoy. And of course, the big one that you all really want to know about. What are the rates? Well, the rates are pretty good. A bit of three times XP on official servers for both harvesting, taming, and breeding with a 0.5 times mating interval, and then going on to 4.5 times for small tribe servers, five times for Arcpocalypse, and six times for Classic. Lots of boosts there for a nice duration of time. On top of that, you've got an extended Evo event. Ooh, lucky you from today, April the 1st, until April the 4th. It's a nice long weekend for you to take advantage of. A bit of two times unofficial, 4.5 on smalls, five on arc puck, and six on classic. So I expect to see many of you out there taking full advantage of this event and certainly getting stuck in where you can wear these giant bunny costumes. But don't panic if you aren't around for the event. The devs have stated Following each and every event that drops, you can then, after that event, I'm expecting, be able to purchase all of the skins through the Hexagon store in, of course, either Genesis 1 or Genesis 2. And that will continue on with every event right up until the end of the year where they're going to hold their very last event for Arc 1 there. <gasps> I know. Sad times. Sad times indeed, which certainly stipulates is Arc 2 on the horizon. Well, not as much on the horizon as we hoped once thought. My theory was that we was going to see a brand new trailer for Arc 2 at this year's E3. Integrating, I'd hoped, a bit of cinematic, but more importantly, a bit of gameplay so we can know what to expect for, and hopefully a date to tell us when exactly this is coming out. But that is no more, I'm afraid, to report. It has been announced that E3 
has been cancelled. No in-person show, no online show, there is nothing at all. And at such a late stage, it's really disappointing to hear this. I'm sure many developers out there were gearing up towards getting their showcases ready for this big, big event. Why has it cancelled? Well, they said we previously announced that E3 would not be held in person in 2022 due to the ongoing health risks surrounding COVID-19. Today, we announced that there will be also no digital E3 showcase in 2022. Instead, we devote all our energy and resources to delivering a revitalized physical and digital e3 experience next summer and that's as much as we're getting so a big yes thank you very much to e3 2022 if it was going to announce something related to r2 that is never going to happen this year anyway and let me just be frank and clear i think a lot of people out there seem to have been taking this as fact that it is going to be revealed at E3. It's never been confirmed by the devs or anybody. It's just a complete speculation on expectations because this is the prime time to show it off. But if this isn't the prime time anymore, what is? If you're not aware, Jeff Knightley, big man in the game biz, is hosting another event called the Summer Game Fest, which is going to be held also in June, the same month as E3, with a slate of events, a live show with announcements, news, and first look. So I can play some bets that anybody who had plans to showcase some new reveals at E3 will probably be piggybacking, jumping on the Summer Game Fest, and Jeff Knightley is going to do pretty well off the back of this, I'm pretty sure. So if there is a time to keep an I out for a trailer. I think this is going to be the prime time now, seeing that E3 is no more. There's some speculation from a few of you out there that maybe Wildcard will just do their own private stream on their own. Big possibility. And if they do, get Vin in. Come on, you can do it. Just have a little quiet word. He works for you. Come on, he's got a jab role within the team. Just go, yo, Vin, come and introduce this new trailer gameplay we've got. And that would be enough. That would certainly grab Shock and all the entire community having the big man fronting and announcing the new stuff that we are eagerly awaiting to see. It has been well over a year since we've seen anything new of this game. Come on. Well, we got sort of a thumbnail artwork a couple of weeks back, but yeah <laughs> wasn't much to go on so two more months to go till hopefully we hear something new but there is something else big of course dropping in that same month too Fjorda, lest we forget, is the next free mod map coming to the official roster in June of this month and we are all looking forward to it very, very much. Me, I am a huge, huge, huge advocate of the map. It reminded me so much of treading the island for the first time. I haven't had as much of a fresh experience as I have with this map and the devs have sort of given us a screenshot to go on. <laughs> in light of the Easter events, Nakatas, the mod map maker, jumped in with, imagine you could add the pics I've sent you recently said and said I actually replied with a pick but not just any pick no something that's completely undersaturated you can barely see anything at all a few lines here and there doesn't tell you a fat lot though you the community out there started to try and enhance and enhance and enhance it to see if we could depict anything at all and it does seem to be a scene that already exists in the mud map I don't know if there's any actual physical changes there any new details to go on of course we're not gonna be able to know that but but it does seem to be a scene that's already existing on the mod map as why so serious did post a pic saying it looks very similar to this area here which is a wicked awesome place to go and visit it's a dwarven mine very reminiscent of lord of the rings of which there are so many references on this map i can't wait for you all to see them in all of their glory there's so many references on this map i wouldn't even know where to begin to detail them all maybe i should do a video on them all it, it could change though nakatas has said that they're going to be a lot of new additions to this map whether he removes things in the process i don't know but i really hope not to because everything about this is just a love letter to obviously a big awesome trilogy of films that we all love out there and if you've not watched them please do go out and watch them if you can certainly bear it if you certainly enjoy those type of films because you will get so many references on this map if you do and i hope that if we do get a trailer for this that kuda course is going to try and capitalize on that and use some lord of the rings references his own and look forward to seeing them and finally you may have seen a video posted by me this morning yes it's april fool's day today it wouldn't be a day of april fools without me posting something to crack a joke and yes 
I posted this wonderfully awesome created arc, the live action movie Netflix trailer coming to you never. <laughs> Though it is hinted by the devs that this could be an actual possibility in the future. Although I'm expecting that's depending on the success of the animated TV series of which we've heard nothing about in the longest time. And I hope we start getting some details about that very soon. And yes, if that succeeds, I think we are going to see this. Doug the Head was in an interview last year and said those exact words that they want live action movies. So watch this space but this trailer in particular i hope you enjoyed this if you did please go check out the original creator i have left his link in the description of that video and at the end of this video because they spent so much time and effort into creating this i was like i can't even outdo this i can't make a better trailer myself so i got in touch and asked for permission so please do go and check out mad max channel hit that subscribe button you know they deserve it they certainly do for creating one of the most awesome things out there but is it as awesome as the big bunny costumes that you can't wait to wear. I know you can't too. And when it comes out, of course, I'll be doing a big, big guide on that. And until then, I'll see you there. My name's Ras Clark. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, uh, peace out.